Hello, welcome to Not A Gamer Gaming. This is Genosis with day three of The Archer. Now, I've uh, spent the last night putting together a forge, which means I needed to dig a hole with clay and stone and whatnot, use what iron I had, and shazam, I put a point into, oh gosh, what is it? Um, uh, engineering? Yeah, advanced engineer to get myself a forge. It also lets me craft glue cheaper, so that's kind of a new development. Uh, glue was normally under, yeah, science, but hey, I, I like glue, I like duct tape, makes all the things I like, so making, crafting things faster, why the heck not? I don't mind spending that point. So I made some arrowheads. I made as many arrows as I could with all the feathers I had and ate up pretty much all of the food I had. There's, there's, a little, there's not much here at all. So that is the focus of today. Now, uh, I do have, gosh, um, I do have quests to turn in, but that the uh, trader's not open for another couple hours. So I don't want to waste a darn moment. I'm going to look around for a place to loot, preferably somewhere as residential. Actually, you know what? That might work for me. There's a lot of kitchens in that apartment building. And a good point was made on the first episode of The Archer that I probably shouldn't focus too much on like weapons places because you know what? Um, <laughs> I'm going to get stone weapons because my game stage is like six. So I'm in, I'm in stone territory. So I'm not going to get anything interesting for a while. So why bother wasting all the nearby loot and gun safes and all that stuff on sledgehammers? So what we're going to do is focus on residential things. Get food, get supplies, uh, resources. Oh god, there's two of them. Oh, and there's um, one of those hotel places here too. So this is a pretty good spot and it's right beside the trader. So this probably couldn't be better. So this is how I'm going to spend my morning. So without further ado, let's bang this door open and uh, do a lot of boarding apartments. Oh, well, uh, wow, okay, that's where all the noise is coming from. There is a whole party up here. I think we can take care of business here and then uh, we'll talk about what we've seen so far on this floor. Okay, so yeah, this floor is completely done, and since this place is kind of repetitive and not a lot going on between places, I'm just going to uh, stop it after each floor I'm done and go over what I've uh, looted so far. So I'm actually pretty pleased with my haul thus far. Got an armor mod schematic, I can now make potatoes. I have two gumbo stew recipes, which is kind of weird. I actually thought that was gumbo stew, so I got excited. I don't need cooking pots, so we can scrap that. Got some pasta I can eat right away. Um, yeah, you know, not terrible, really. So a lot of this stuff is going to stack, so it shouldn't be too bad. All right, so let's break up to the second floor and uh, hope for some more good stuff. All right, floor number two completed. I'm actually going to do a dump chest here because this is getting a little silly. I'm loading a lot of varied items. Okay, right, so I know how to make uh, bacon and eggs, which is cool. Got some uh, chicken rations I can eat right away. More cooking pots I don't need. So I'm getting actually a decent amount of food here. So this is turning out to be a good idea, but I am getting a little encumbered. So we're gonna drop a chest right here and uh, pretty much get rid of everything because I got a button for that. Um, I don't. Th I think there's something at the top I can lock pick. We'll see. I'll grab my arrows with me. Oh, those are arrowheads. Um, I think I'm good for food and water, but I'll bring some beef ration with me. Otherwise, I think I am good. Okay. Well, uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to continue up to the third floor. So we're making good time. It's only 9.30 in the morning. I'm glad I started early. And we're going to sneak on up to uh, floor number three. All right, uh, finished floor number three here. Let's take a look at what we got. Uh, another blue, another recipe for seeds. So it looks like we're definitely gonna be farmers. Uh, this is not gonna affect us, but it looks like another decent pile of food. So we're gonna go ahead and drop that into our uh, ill-gotten gains chest down here. Let's press the automatic sort button, drop off the remainder. Oh, ooh, wrench, I didn't even notice I got that. Okay, I'm actually gonna, uh, yeah, munch on that right now. Keep me there, over there, over here, oh, need those. And, uh, yeah, that should, uh, yeah, that should do. All right, so how many floors do we have left? Here's an awful racket upstairs. So I know at least one more. <laughs> you son of a gun. 
Oh, this is broken, so I'm gonna have to make do with this. Stay right there. Oh. Huh. Alright. Alright, so yeah, let's see what is up here. Was that just one dude making all that noise? Is there... Wow, okay, so there's at least two more floors, including this one. Alright, let's, uh, let's get to it, man. I cannot wait to be done this place. Alright, I just finished uh, floor number four. Oh god, there's so much noise up there. But yeah, ton tons, of, tons of food here, which is great. Um, I got all these recipes. Chili dog, hobo stew. I already got vegetable... What? <laughs> Where did you come from? Um, yeah, so I'm going to be a, a damn chef by the time I'm done here. What is going on up here? What a bunch of hooligan mess... Okay, uh, dyes, food, etc. Yeah, I'm, I'm good for that. Yeah, I think, yeah, this is definitely the top floor. So thankfully we're almost done, because this place is really, really grating on me. Well, oh, uh, okay. So still, still things kicking around here. Oh, come on. My bull's all wonky again. All right, so I'm going to bash through this door, finish this last floor, and uh, see well, how much of the day we have left. Whoa, holy shit. Uh... Wow, it surprised me. Uh, oh, okay, so let's uh, kind of go on over what I've been finding so far. Uh, robotic sludge schematic. Uh, won't use it, but cool. Uh, pumpkin seed recipe. Actually, I think I have uh, some pumpkins at home, so that may uh, may do for us. Let me just put on some black dye, because, you know, whatever, try to make some room. But yeah, oh, um, I should probably mention, since now I'm talking, there is a room back here, over here, that's a little loaded up with stuff. Uh, I mean, what the hell, may as well crack it since we're here, I'm thirsty. Alright, um, as you can see, my textures are still half, I uh, can't really avoid that, I've logged into the game and half my frames are there. Uh, let me actually change a setting right now out of curiosity. Let's try a texture filter, does that change anything? I think I have to log out and back in so it doesn't really matter. So, eh, whatever, we're gonna have all textures for this playthrough, not a big deal. Uh, okay, we got some parts here, and uh, more blender busts and clubs and whatnot. We we can actually grab all these and uh, sell well some stuff next door, so that's fine. I did find some lock picks. I oh actually I have some of them on me. I think there also might be some downstairs. Uh, we're gonna scrap that immediately. Um, one more crate, and then I'm gonna do uh, try my hand at cracking open that gun safe next to me. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, more stone tools. I mean, I wasn't just gonna not loot, the, loot this since it's right here. All right, let's uh, get picking to this lock. Okay, we used up one lock. It's not bad, not bad. So we're doing pretty good. Um, stone stuff we'll scrap. Um, wow. Okay, so I have enough room to eat a couple things. Ooh, actually, look at that serrated blade mod. That's actually gonna come in handy, and that might fetch a couple coins. Can we squeeze in one more thing of food? Chicken soup, why not? Okay, so we're pretty much encumbered. So we have a couple extra apartments to go through. Oh, hello. Man, that's creepy. Set you gotta wait for timing for those bobbing head guys. Did I already go through this apartment? No, I didn't. All right, let me loot these last two apartments and I should be good and uh, head to the trader, dump off my stuff, and oh my God, I need something interesting to do. This place is monotonous. All right, we are absolutely done. I'm gonna head all the way back down to the first floor. Um, this may or may not have been faster considering I have to bust through this. Just give me a second here. But yeah, I'm absolutely full to the brim. I actually found like a nine millimeter pistol, which is nice, actually. I can't use it, but I'm glad it exists because you know, seeing pistols this early game is uh, relatively rare. Oh wow, it's a lot of stuff. Okay, so I I have some sorting to do here, and I uh, the trader's right across the road, so I'll uh, I'll be able to sell some stuff pretty quick. So let me get through the sorted and try to bring the rest home. Okay, so uh, I still have left a lot of stuff behind, but I, I actually got a pretty good haul of food. So I guess I can't uh, fault it too much for that. Um, is it this side? I think, I think it's this side. But wow, um, I'm going to have to probably play a little bit into the night, because I, I did I did not do spend a lot of time talking 
going through that place because what the hell am I going to say? Like, here's a room, and here's a uh, here's a cabinet. Here's a room. Here's hey, a cabinet. Jackass, can I lighten that backpack up for you? Oh, I really want to hurt him. All right, I also have a quest to turn in, so there's right, that. Um, helmet light mod. Did I spawn one in, or did I loot one? I don't remember, but I'm gonna take the Molotovs. Oh, fuck! No, 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 no. Well... Wow. <laughs> okay, so uh, my wife loves to put little hashtag noob genosis moments. Um, she is more than welcome to put one right there, because 20 Molotovs just dropped on the ground and burnt me. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sell some stuff to this guy. All right, my dealings with Rekt have concluded. I have accepted a new quest, and I am a little, little singed. Uh, is there anything I want to grab here? Um, I'll grab as much as I can to bring home. I thought I had more gunpowder than that. Huh. Oh, well. Um, let's see. Sewing kits, medicine. I don't need brass, really, so I can kind of leave that there. I'll need nitrate and coal. I can scrap that later. A bunch of jars. Uh, that's not even worth carrying around. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm okay with that. There's a lot of brass items I don't need. All right, I am going to run home, which is right over there, so it's not too far. And I'm going to just pick a place interesting and uh, play through the night and clear it out, because if I don't, this is going to be the most boring episode we have ever had in our channel. So let's uh, let's hurry up and do that. Okay, so I've emptied out. Actually, let me go ahead and uh, ch show you what I've got for food, because that was kind of the point here. Um, I'm actually pretty set for a while. This should last me a few days for sure. And I got a bunch of uh, seeds, so I really need to kind of keep an eye out for all kinds of guts and um, sources of rotting flesh, because that is going to yield us some farm plots and that will make us sustainable. That really should be my first priority. Now, right behind my place here, there seems to be a POI. Um, seems, doesn't seem to be that big, but it's definitely going to be more interesting than uh, room after room after room of me not saying anything and just looting. All right, so we're going to go and get this place all done up. Where are we? Oh, okay. Not, oh, another level. Okay, uh, what's our game stage anyways? Nine? Wow, that's, that's short. Uh, I'll show you, we actually spent a point here in uh, lock picking because I'm not going to go down strength. I've decided I'm not going to do digging and all that and try to make do because I rarely do that. I'm kind of curious if I can get by, not drive myself nuts, but there's only three points in lock picking. Pack, uh, perk out at seven, so 20% uh, faster, 10% less chance to break lock picks. I mean, if I'm not busting open safes, I at least want to be able to open them without having to hack at them for like an hour. So I got some safes at home I can do that with. So that is something we're going to do. I don't recognize this place. Um, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, quick draw there. Yeah, I don't rec recognize this place off the top of my head. So this might be a little bit of new experience for us, which is kind of cool because I really could use one after today. Wow, that was it? Huh. That was extremely short. Um, I used that point to level up to get another perk into deep cuts, because now that I have a forge at home, I'm going to be able to create a hunting knife, which uh, will be extremely useful considering that is my secondary weapon, and I should have that beefed up. Oh, here's some rotting flesh, so this will at least yield us uh, maybe a crop plot or two. Uh, the next point I get, I'm going to put into uh, living off the land, which is change. is only three points now, and it'll give us 30% uh, less um, uh, materials used for farm plots, which is great because rotting flesh is really our bottleneck here. All right, so I may as well crack this stuff open. I didn't expect to finish this place in like two minutes, but uh, let's see what we got anyway. Uh, oil recipe. It's actually quite good. And uh, some stuff to sell. I'll scrap that for some bones. Stone spear. Ammo will be sold. Um, nothing else in here, really. Wow, that was an extremely small POI. Like, it's super, super tiny. And I was kind of surprised a, a POI that small actually had one of those chests at the end of the, end of the, uh, the POI. Is that nothing else there? Yeah, coffee right there. Okay. Well, um, hell, if that's it, let me just kind of get my way out here. 
I've never seen a POI that damn small. Ammo. Okay, let's, uh, I guess we head back home and dump that stuff off and find another little place to loot. Okay, well, it's nighttime. Uh, my new hunting knife has been crafted, so that's good news. Uh, bad news, I've decided on doing the doggo's place, which means there's going to be dogs. Uh, this is potentially not good news because uh, dogs suck. They're fast. Uh, they'll probably see me from further away, which means I need to be extra careful. So we're doing this at nighttime, so at least the dogs aren't any faster than they would be normally. Uh, I mean, this is just <laughs> this is just me trying to salvage an episode. Otherwise, it's going to be pretty flippin' boring. Oh, yeah. Let's get all these sneak kills, because that's really the only recourse we have now. I'm going to loot after. I'm just going to go through and do a clear. No zombies around here. Cool. Now, I have a feeling something bad might happen. So I'm going to make a couple hatches and get them stacked right up there. So if something happens, I'm just going to do that and take refuge in that first room. So if I get a bunch of dogs running at me, I will have some way to survive. So that's, that's kind of my, my goal here. I haven't died yet. And maybe I could get this entire series not dying. Wouldn't that be nice? I, that would be something, right? Something. Besides, if we don't die, we don't lose game stage, we don't lose game stage, uh, we'll actually have some kind of loot, eventually. If that's still a thing, I'm just assuming that's how it still works. Okay, so we're just kind of edging our way in, trying to see, out of the corner of our eyes, if we see a dog. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Dog! Okay. That could have been better. I shouldn't have been greedy and tried to get more of his... Oh, that's a lot of feet. Um... Um... Wow, that's a lot of feet. Are, what? Are they coming right for me? Holy shit, that's a lot of feet. Alright, you know what? Come. Let's do this. I'm gonna make a little bit of noise and... Oh, fuck. Whoa! <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, don't panic. We got this. Die. Okay, wow, 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 wow. That scared me. I wanted to... Okay, hold on. Can we... Make another hatch here. Uh, I need that out of the way. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, yep, that'll work. Can I reinforce that? Where are they going? Where are they? Hello? Where are they... Are they trying to break in? Oh, I see them. Oh. What are you... Okay, where are you trying to go there, buddy? Okay, there you are. I got their attention now. Yep, yep. They know we're here. Ugh. Haha. Whoa. Um, okay. That that didn't work. Shit. Shit 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 shit. Get back. Try this knife out. Ooh, that's actually quite good. Wow, they're dying fast. Okay, out of stamina, no problem. We got arrows for that. Come on. Uh sorry, you want a dick shot? You get a dick shot. Oh, that's... What are you guys trying to do? Fuck off. Done. 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 Holy shit. <laughs> okay, so we wanted at least one interesting moment, other than me setting myself on fire, before this episode ended, and there you go. Just had to do something a little stupid, but we were, we were prepared. Wow. Okay, that that was unexpected. <laughs> oh, wait, moving on. Let's uh, maybe try to finish this place up. Okay, we're almost done here. I got two arrows left, and I'm in the last section, like the roof. Uh, let's get rid of those last two arrows. Let's, I just oh, sorry, three arrows, I guess. I want that no more. We got iron arrows now. Actually, can we make some more? Sweet. Okay, let's make uh, some more iron arrows. Let's see, use this little makeshift uh, thing here. Oh, there's, there's got to be... Hold on, there's got to be something over there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay, you gotcha. Oh, really? Dog down. Oh, my bow's doing something weird. There we go. There's Dire Wolf right there. Yeah! 3.5 times damage. I think I might even have a perk for night shots. I don't know. Is that it? Really? Just two dogs? Oh, well, uh, that's it. Uh, anything locked? No? Okay, so let me crack these two crates open uh, and then skin these dogs and see what we got. Okay, dogs have been skinned. I actually got 40 rotting flesh from this place. Not too bad. I got a battery bank schematic out of a filing cabinet along with a blueberry pie recipe. So our, uh, our recipes are actually stacking up quite good. All right, let's see what goodies we got in the final loot. Some medical supplies, uh, some stone stuff, and some bone stuff that I'll promptly scrap. Um, some meager food. Um, some, uh, alright, some decent stuff there. Oh, an anvil. That'll help with our forge. I'm pleased with that. And the final chest. Uh, sell, 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 uh, what the hell, and sell. Uh, that's it. I mean, nothing too fantastic, but that's, uh, we kind of expected. I'll grab that. Gotcha. Oh, uh, wait, what am I wearing for, for ja Oh, ooh, college jackets. Those are actually uh, better because they give you that run speed. Yeah, right there. That's the stuff right there. Yeah, so we got an extra 10% run speed, and that is going to be fantastic. Look at that. Perfect. All right, that is me for now. Um, yeah, I'm going to go through and finish looting this place, pick it apart with the last couple hours of the night, and uh, start fresh tomorrow. I'd like to thank everyone for watching today. If you like the video, please smash that like button. Smash. Kids say that, right? Smash. Okay. Anyways, press the like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you again next time with Archer Day Number 4.